How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are going to try to recalibrate the speedometer on the 2020 Bronco. Now I don't know if you've seen previous videos or not or if this is your first time tuning in but I, here we have a 2021 Bronco Black Diamond which came with 32 inch tires. Put on a four wheel parts lift and level which gave us some room to put on some bigger wheels and tires. So now we have some 35 by 12 and a half. Now the problem is all the computers inside the Bronco think that we have 32 inch wheels on there. So all of its calculations are going to be off now. So when I'm going about 50 miles an hour, according to my speedometer, I'm actually doing about 53 miles per hour. Uh, so I'm actually going faster than what the speedometer tells me, which could get me into trouble. So um, not to mention over over the course of you know several thousand miles, that's going to put all the readings, all the odometer readings. It's going to put everything off. So we want to adjust that, get it uh, as close to perfect as we can, and we're going to do that using this old crusty computer. Now, and uh, we're just going to use a uh, Forescan for that, which is just a quick, simple, it's a fairly easy program to use. And especially with newer vehicles, uh, there's a lot you could do with Forescan, and you can get into all the hex codes and look up um, all kinds of stuff and change all kinds of things. But for simple things like changing your wheel size, uh, you don't even have to worry about any of that anymore. It's become very simple. So all we got to do, you just need a computer, the USB port, and one of these plugs. This plug is just going to go right into our OD, OBD2 port, which is going to allow us to read and write to the Bronco's computer. And we plug that in. The uh, port is right here and right next to the hood prop, right underneath there. Plug that in. See, we got lights on there. Now, it says uh, when you're going through the setup and everything, it says the ignition needs to be in the on position. And I thought that meant like just accessories on, uh, but I wasn't getting all the modules back when it would read everything so then I tried it with the actual engine running and then it came back with all the modules so if you plug this in and you're trying to get uh, and you only get like three or four modules that pop up on there then it's probably why you want to make sure that you actually start the car so yeah not just the accessories on but actual and put my foot on the brake start the car then we can get started. Now to connect, you just go down here to this little, where it's showing two plugs being connected. Oops. So to get started, you'll just go down here where these two plugs are being connected. Click that. Let's say make sure the ignition key is in the on position. And if you have a switch, which we do on this, Make sure it's in the HS cam position. So on that one, that's the switch away. And then once it's done reading everything, it'll say ready. What we need is the body control module. So body, the BDY CM. Now if we go into there, push the play button. We wanna switch the H HS. This, there's a switch. We want to make sure it's in the HS position, and I'll show you that in a second. But we got that. It's going to read everything. Now we can go through and see all the different settings we have here. But I just want to scroll down to oh, tire. 
So here we got tire su circumference in millimeter as 2,440. Now that was our old size. And I'm just gonna, I'm just writing that down here. 2,440. Now our new size should be 2,791. And that's just converting thir 35 inches over to millimeters. So instead of 2440, we want to go to 2791. Hit right. Now the other thing I want to do while I'm in here is for the TPM, for the front PSI it's set to 39, for the rear it's set to 39. And that's what it's expect, expecting the PSI to be at. And if it goes a certain percentage below that, it's going to give us a low PSI warning. So I want to go ahead and edit that as well. So we decided we're going to go with 26 to 28. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to set that to 27. And then the same for the rear. And it selected. I'm going to set that to 27. Now, what I want to do is hit right. Now, before I changed anything, <laughs> I did create a profile uh, which had everything. Uh, as it was when I loaded it. So before I made any changes, basically it's doing a backup of your system and telling it everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I am actually going to write this. So I'm going to save. This is going to show what changes we're making. So I'm changing tire circumference from 2440 to 2791 and I'm changing my PSIs for the uh, uh, TPMS sensors to be from 39 down to 27. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to write everything. Now I got to turn the car off and back on. We'll hit OK. Now our TPMS sensors get reset. But we can come in here and we can see everything's been saved. So now I'm going to go drive and well first I'm going to put air in the tires because I was at I was still at 20. I need to come back up to 27. So I'm going to put air in the tires. So then we'll go drive and I'll check the speed uh, speedometer against the GPS and we'll see hopefully we fixed that um that difference we might have to come in we might have went too far and now we're getting under or over so we can just go in and tweak that number so maybe we'll have to go to 26 or 2800 or something like that but uh we can tweak it from there um on this when i was saying i had to change the switch from hs to ms it's just this switch here just a toggle you just have to toggle it back and forth between the two modes um, as you see as the software tells you to do so I, it's pretty simple you just do what the software tells you to do so I was messing around and I said 2600 at the beginning as like it could be 26 it could be whatever um, that we should set it to and that's what I got to set it now is 2600 and it seems to be pretty spot on. Um, uh, I'll actually get out on the freeway now a little bit uh, so you can see uh, how things look at higher speeds. But I mean, around town, it was pretty much locked on. You know, around 40, 50 miles an hour, it's pretty well locked on. Yeah, 
I, mean, I think we're pretty dialed in now. 61, 62. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, it dialed in any better. A 63, 65s, and between the GPS and the uh, and the speedometer, I think we are locked in there pretty good now. So I said 2600 as a guess, like as a low range, and that's exactly where it ended up being set. Um, and uh, I mean, we are locked in perfectly now it seems so I am happy with that so, you know, it's gone up 65 66 67 I mean, it's they're perfectly in sync with each other now all right guys so everything's been great um, but I did this morning I went out to the car and I had a check engine light, light on and I remembered because after the first time I did it I went in and I redid the PCM module relearn um, after the first time I set it but then I had to change things a couple of times after that um, and I never re-ran that uh, so I re-ran that just now but then I also had some other ones and was an ABS and um, an all-wheel drive mode, which I hadn't changed those modes at all. But um, I was getting an error from that. I tried clearing all the codes and those didn't go away. So what I actually did was go into this all-wheel drive module initialization relearn vehicle data. I did redid that and um, I ran that, went through the steps to just run push play uh it said turn the car off uh believe the turn the engine off leave it uh but leave the ignition on then turn off then recycle the engine did that came back through re-cleared the, all the codes and now we are good it looks like now if i turn the car off Restart, vehicle is on. I got the driver door open. Those alerts, no, I no longer have the check engine light and I also had a screen coming up saying, um, ser service engine soon and then check four, uh, check four by four something. But um, just re-ran that, that cleared th those alerts. So if you get any of those alerts, that's how you can clear it. Um, I don't imagine they'll come back now that I've rerun everything. The, the relearn the PCM, relearn that. Um, Cause you know, they're expecting certain parameters. You know, they have certain settings and the certain parameters that they're expecting and then they don't see them and it confuses the computer so um i think now that we've relearned everything with the proper wheel size on there or proper wheel circumference um i think we're good to go i will update you if i run into any problems if i have any alerts come up i know people are hesitant to be messing around with their computers <laughs> with the computers for their brand new cars and i understand that yeah so i hope that helps out if it did hit that thumbs up button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future hit that subscribe button and i will see you next time